Hello everyone! So tonight I thought I'd share my evening routine. Well, I guess it's tonight when I'm recording this. When you watch it'll be tomorrow and it won't be the nighttime. But anyway, so oh, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to start with the light cleansing. I'm going to go with uh, my current favorite sunscreen makeup oil remover. The Isentree LHL Jelly Cleansing Oil. And then after that, this does a pretty good job. But anyway, if I feel like I need it, I'm going to apply the Geek and Gorgeous Jelly Joker Cleanser as a second step cleanser. And then, I don't know, maybe one of these uh, face brand powder washes. Uh, you guys, some of you told me this is the good dupe for the Tatcha one. And then this just came up for Peach and Lily, so I had to have that too. So anyway, and these both say gentle enough for daily use. Although, I don't know, is three cleansing layers too much? You know, you got the makeup remover, then the sec second step cleanser, and the powder cleanser. I guess I'll see how it feels when I'm doing it and how sore or unsore my back is during the process. So, okay. A little microfiber cloth. I just freaking love this. I love this. I love this cleanser from Isentree. I love it. It is the best thing since sliced bread to come out for cleansing. So many brands have tried to do something like this, but just fail miserably. This stuff is wonderful. So I'll, uh, I'll type everything else. I'm, I'll type everything I'm going to use in the description box, uh, hopefully with a link to most of it, or not, not all of it. You know what I love about the isn't tree thing? I can do it while I'm standing up because my back is so sore bending over. I have scoliosis, and I was born with a version of spina bifida occulta or something, and then I've got like five other disc, degenerative disc diseases, and I don't know, the, the x-rays were, were like pages long, and that's just my neck. Anyway, okay. So this is nice, because I can feel like I can get most of it done without having to bend over and make myself sore, but I just love this cleanser. Okay, I gotta find the faucet. Okay, here we go. Okay, under the Geek and Gorgeous, if I can find it. Is this it? This is it. I grabbed the right one. I'll do a little bit of the powder just for the heck of it. I'm going to go with the SRB one. It does look just like the Tatcha powder. Can you see it? Can you see me? Do, do, do. Okay. Thank you. 
There we go. Did it follow me? It didn't, did it? Follow me, follow me, follow me. Okay, we're back. Okay, feel nice. I feel very clean. Now I'm going to use a toner, the Skin 1004 Probio Sika Essence Toner. It just came out. And the packaging to me reminds me of milk chocolate. I think that's probably the main reason I bought it. <laughs> so I just put it on a cotton pad. Yeah, isn't that ridiculous? It looked like chocolate milk. Although I'm not sure how that would work on your face. But I can tell you that's about 99% of the reason I bought this. Although I have I've had good experience with this brand and a lot of other things. A few things I didn't like them so much with. But some of their other stuff has been really nice and gentle and... A few of their things have been too fragranced, but anyway, when I scan the ingredient list, it looked pretty friendly, so let me see if I can see anything that stands out. Centella, Centella Ferment, Panthenol, Licorice Root, Ceramide, Sodium Hyaluronic, Matacasic Acid, Raspberry Ketone, Phytosphygnosine. Looks like a pretty darn good ingredient list if I do say so myself. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going to pat on a little bit of this Jin Jung Sung Soothing Essence from ENS. Ooh, that's way too much. I screwed up. The hole in here is way bigger than the average bottle. So I dispensed far, 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 far too much. That's how much I dispensed. Way too much. What a waste. Ugh, I hate that. It's only my third or fourth time using it. But this time I will remember not to dump the entire bottle over. I like the occasional exfoliating powder. For a long time, I really didn't like them at all. But uh, anyway, I like them occasionally. I wouldn't use them daily, like some of them recommend, like good enough for daily use. But uh, maybe once every couple weeks or something. I will say my skin did, did look kind of flaky this morning, so I thought a little manual exfoliation might do the trick. Okay, I will say that that essence is super hydrating, but it does feel a little sticky, which is okay. Because I'm moving on to my next step now, which is the Skin Medica TNS Advanced Serum, right? Advanced. I got this for a ridiculously good price. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about it. If it's too expensive for you, uh, because it's freaking expensive, the Brad Suticles Stem Cell Serum is a nice alternative and it's much more affordable. It's like ridiculously much more affordable. But uh, this specific ingredient that they use in here is expensive. It's not like they're just marking it up to be not to make a lot of money on it. I mean, they're definitely making a lot of money on it. But the special human condition fibroblast media that they use in here is like thousands of dollars for one ounce of it. So I get why it's so expensive. It's just unfortunate. So this is like a treat to myself because... I tried it for the first time after I got it on sale, like for a really, really good deal. Then too, you know, I just watch and occasionally, I, th I think the last two times I got this for the price I paid, I think was a computer glitch taking a coupon that it shouldn't have. Because then when I go back to rebuy it, the coupon doesn't work anymore. So anyway, I just apply this to my face. I don't use it on my neck. because I want to save for every last drop, so anyway. Okay, then on my neck, I'm going to use a little bit of the Isentree Aloe Soothing Gel, which I love for my neck. My neck is always dry and sensitive. Okay, there we go. I wonder what I 
I tried my first Isn't Tree product because, you know what, I love them. They're one of my favorite brands of all time. I don't know, I'm trying to think. When I was first getting a skincare, I subscribed to a lot of different beauty boxes. I think one of them was like Bomi Box, B-O-M-I Box. It was like a K-Beauty Box. It had a lot of Isn't Tree stuff, if I recall correctly. So anyways, now I've got so much stuff, I don't, I'm don't. i not really in those beauty boxes because I can just guarantee I'm going to get something and probably try it 100 times. Or I could subscribe to the Walmart beauty box and they could charge me $800 for 100 boxes that I don't want. That was a little drama this week. Walmart screwed up and charged everyone for 100 boxes on accident. And some people, like it's the end of the month, their rent is due. Anyway, okay, aside from that, the Peking Yo Black Tea Boosting Serum. I love this stuff. I've evolved so much with my routine for pretty much all my life up until recently. I would only just do it with one hand. I don't know why, but some of you pointed out, why are you only using one hand? And I'm like, I don't know. It just never occurred to me. But now it's a little bit faster when I do it with both hands. Surprising. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to finish this one up. It's almost done. The Drunk Elephant Bouncy Bright Facial with Azelaic Acid and Salicylic Acid. I'm so close to having this finished. So anyway, then I'm going to be back to either As Clear or the Peach Slices. I mean, that stuff was okay. I'm just not a crazy drunk elephant fangirl anymore. Well, it's so close to being finished. But I love Azelaic Acid. If you don't have it, you should try it. Not necessarily the specific one, but... Any is like acid or the Peak and Gorgeous A Pad Serum is also wonderful. It's like acid is the miracle ingredient. nice I'm gonna apply a little bit of this to my neck this is the isn't tree vegan yam root milk cream which is lovely it's almost finished I'll definitely be picking up another tube my neck and face have their own skincare routine to each their own I guess but in the winter my neck sometimes gets these dry patches so I found using something like this that's thicker really works well. Okay. Then, now over the Drunk Elephant Bouncy Bright Facial, I'm going to apply the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I love this stuff. It's amazing. Mm, feels so nice on my skin. Okay, there we go. I'm addicted to it. So then I'm debating, should I... Usually I like alternate exfoliant one night and then uh, my Altrino the other night or I'll alternate. But since I use the Azelaic Acid that has a little bit of salicylic acid, I'm just going to use a weaker retinoid product. And I'm going to use the one from e.l.f. Youth Boosting Retinol Advanced Night Serum. And I'm probably just going to focus on my uh, forehead area. There we go. It's a little it's carrot colored. And hopefully I can review this one soon because it's a little bit more affordable than some of the other retinoids out there.
And then, a little bit, if I'm not orange enough already, a little bit of the Stradius Skin Liquid Gold over that. Sandwiching the retinoid in between two hydrating products seems to be do the trick for me. I just have to be careful, really careful to avoid my mouth or make sure if it did get on my mouth that I wipe it off because the corner of my mouth of my lips get really dry and irritated if there's too much drying or actives around that area or especially when I eat too much popcorn it gets salt on them and then that gets more irritated so I'm gonna wipe my mouth off there we go okay okay so I did that now I'm gonna do a little bit of the Cossarex snail mucin that is not it that is it da -da -da -da. Love this stuff. Gosh, if I had to only pick one product to use for the rest of my life, what would it be? I don't know. I have no idea what I would pick. It would be impossible. A little bit of my eye serum around my eyes. Okay, here we go. Cosrx Peptide Snail Eye Cream. And then around my eyes. And then, for one last thing, bonus points for a sleeping mask like the summer Fridays or the topicals like butter. I'm going with the topicals like butter tonight because I just changed their formula. So now I figure I might as well use this up and try the new formula next. So here it is. And this I'll kind of just let sit on top of my skin until it soaks in. There we go. Okay. And then just my lip sleeping mask. Oh, I'll get my chin. And my, oops, shoot. Hang on, I dropped it. Let me pick it up. Okay, I got it. Woo -hoo -hoo. Lost me there. Find me, find me. Okay, here I am. Da da da. So for my lip sleeping mask, I'm going to go with a little bit of the Clavu Nourishing Lip Sleeping Pack. But I'm going to make sure to get all the retinol or anything else around my mouth off. Because I don't want, I think it's called angular chelitis, maybe? Chelitis? Okay, dry it off. And this is really wonderful. There's so many good lip sleeping masks out there, but this is one of them that's just so lovely. The other one I've really been enjoying is the one from Summer Fridays. I think I must have got this in a sample box or something because it's really little. The Summer Fridays lip balm. I must have got it in a set or something because the regular one is full size a lot bigger. There we go. Da -da -da -da. All done and ready to go to sleep or cuddle with Ike and Lincoln. So anyway, that is my evening routine for the week. Interested in hearing from you guys, changing anything up lately, or uh, what are you using for actives, or anyway, just whatever you think of, or just share the video, or subscribe, or like, or do whatever, or, and Check out my second channel, Sarah Speaks. There's a link to it in the description box. I'm uploading more videos to that as well. So be sure to check that out. And uh, thanks so much. Okay, bye-bye, guys.